So I thought I'd make a video. Right, I am the proud owner of a TRX-1 Whistler, which is quite a heavy radio. Quite a heavy radio. Now, I like to put radios in the car. Obviously, it's a handheld scan. I do more driving than I do anything else. But um, for the price, I thought it was good. It was second-hand, all the rest of it. But... It's a heavy radio and there's not many places you can put it. I did have a mount which I use for my mobile phone which is this. This one here which I put my mobile phone on which is great. Slots in there that fits on there. It's a bit still a bit heavy. It's not good enough. But I came across this little gem in Tex Tesco's. And you've probably seen them before. They're a magnetic mount. They fit nice and neatly there. I think that's the one I had it in. Nice and neatly there. So, you get the metal stick to stick on the back of your radio. It it's, doesn't really spoil it that much. You don't notice it. And voila, it's there. Switch on. If you, I've, I've kept the... I've kept a, a rubber duck on there for the time being. I'm not planning to wire in, in totally just yet, but I just thought um, that's the best way. It's reasonably secure. It's got a nice, it sits on the lip there. It doesn't fall down. And it's not all over the place. It's just out of the road. It's in it. In, um... Hands reach. I can hear it. I do have a Bluetooth speaker which does get attached to it occasionally. The downside, it's sideways, obviously. That's only the downside, but it's less, for me, it's less obtrusive. It's. All locations are sight. No stop and search needed for No stop and search in this vehicle. I don't know, that's a British Steel. That's a local British Steel, sorry about that. Um, as you can see, it works as well. It picks up okay. Um, maybe I'll lose a DB on receiving because it's an internal antenna, but be more directional anyway. So, thanks for listening. Bye.